So, Smarty Pants, are you ready for some detective work? Great, because I happen to have some right here. Gee, what a coincidence. Yeah. Let's go! You drop a bowling ball in a bucket of water which is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And you also drop another ball of the same weight, mass, and size in a bucket at 30 degrees Fahrenheit. If you do it at the same time, which ball will hit the bottom of the bucket first? The ball in the bucket of the 45-degree water will hit the bottom of the bucket later than the other ball. Did you think that the water had to be frozen at 30 degrees Fahrenheit? But the riddle says nothing about that bucket having anything in it. Therefore, there is no water or ice to slow the ball down. Sam is talking to his lawyer in jail. They're very upset because the judge has refused to grant bail. At the end of the conversation, Sam is allowed to leave the jail. Why? Sam is visiting his lawyer, who was arrested and jailed. Hmm, time to look for another lawyer. Mary is the owner of a bag store. One day, a young woman came in. She wanted to buy a bag. After choosing the one she liked, she asked Mary how much it was. The price was $30. The girl asked Mary to sell it for $20, and the store owner agreed. The girl gave her $50. Mary didn't have any change, so she went to her friend who worked nearby to change the bill. The friend gave Mary two $20 bills and one $10 bill. The woman gave the customer $30 and put the remaining $20 in the cash register. Just a few minutes after the buyer left, Mary's friend rushed into the store. The bill you gave me is fake. I need my money back. Mary gave her friend her own $50. How much money did the store owner lose in total? For one thing, Mary sold the bag at a $10 discount, so she already lost this money. Then she gave the girl $30 in change and she had to return $50 to her friend for the fake bill. One $20 bill was the one her friend had given her, so she had to add $30 of her own. In total, she lost $70. Wow, next time use a credit card, huh? Private detective Deborah was doing some shopping at the mall. Suddenly, she heard people arguing. The woman went there and saw a stressed shop assistant and several people crowding him. The poor man had found a smartphone and made an announcement. And now, several people claimed it was their phone. One man said the phone must have slipped out of his bag. A young woman said the gadget belonged to her. And an older woman shouted it was her husband's device. That's when the phone rang. For some reason, the shop assistant handed it to Deborah. The woman glanced at the screen and immediately gave the phone to the man. How did she understand whose device it was? Deborah saw the word wife written on the screen. Jenny heard about a private party which was supposed to be VIP. Celebrities and influencers were going to attend it. And guess what? Thanks to one of her friends, Jenny managed to get on the guest list. Before the party, the girl bought a new dress and a pretty and expensive purse. At the party, Jenny got acquainted with a very nice young man called David. They were talking when someone pushed Jenny. She didn't fall over only thanks to David's fast reaction. But she noticed that her purse was gone. David rushed to catch the thief. He spotted a guy hanging around the entrance. What are you doing here? The man answered that he was looking for an ATM. He needed cash to buy a ticket for the party. David told the man to hand Jenny's purse over or he would call the police. How did he understand the man was the thief? This is an A-list event. You can't just buy a ticket to get there. This man is lying. The faster you run, the harder it is to catch this thing. What is it?
It's your breath. Brandon's wife told him to cook several eggs, but the man had to boil them for exactly two minutes. She left her husband three hourglass timers for three, four, and five minutes. How can the man boil the eggs for exactly two minutes? Brandon waited until the water started to boil. Then he turned over the 3 and 5 minute timers. When the 3 minute timer ran out, he dropped the eggs into the water. And when the 5 minute timer ran out, he had his perfectly boiled eggs. Sometimes I am loved, usually by the young. Other times I am dreaded, mostly by the old ones. I'm hard to remember, also hard to forget. And yet, if you do, you'll make someone upset. I occur every day. Everyone has to face me. Even if you don't want it to happen, embrace me. What am I? A birthday. It's thin, but when water splashes it, none seeps through. When hit, it changes color. It covers an incredibly complex thing, yet it's very easy to flex. What is it? It's human skin. Look at these people. Can you figure out which one is a smuggler? It's the woman on the left. The lady on this right is really pregnant. She's just wearing a wig. But the shape of the belly of the woman on the left is weird, to say the least. One of these people stole some Pringles. Can you figure out who it was? It's this young lady. Look at her ponytail. A very strange shape. Doesn't it resemble a pack of Pringles? Now, I've got this group of people for you. One of them is a vampire. Can you figure out who it is? It's this guy sitting on the right. Have you noticed that he has no shadow? A farmer is traveling with a fox, a sheep, and a small sack of hay. He comes to a river. There's a small boat near the shore. The boat can only support the farmer and one other animal or item. If the farmer leaves the fox alone with the sheep, the fox will eat the sheep. And if the farmer leaves the sheep alone with the hay, the sheep will eat the hay. How can the farmer get all three, as well as himself, safely across the river? The farmer should take the sheep across the river. Then he should paddle back. Then he will take the fox across the river. After that, the farmer should take the sheep back to the first side of the river. Then the farmer should leave the sheep on the first side of the river and take the hay to the other side, because it's safe to leave the hay with the fox. The farmer will then return to the first side of the river and pick up the sheep. The morning after a heavy snowfall, Justin went outside and saw there was twice as much snow on the top of his garage as there was on his neighbor's. Still, Justin didn't get surprised or upset. He just smiled and continued walking. Why? Justin's garage is twice as big as his neighbor's. No wonder it has twice as much snow. Andrew and Gary are twins. They were born just one minute apart. And Andrew is the elder of the two. But for some mysterious reason, they celebrate their birthdays two days apart once every several years. How is this possible? Andrew was born at 11.59 p.m. 
on February 28th. It wasn't a leap year. So Gary, who appeared just one minute later, was already born on March 1st. That's why, during leap years, they have two days between their birthdays. Look at these mirrors and say which one is magical. It's the one the girl in the middle is holding. Apparently, it helped her to get rid of her mole. Two men are playing chess. They've already played five games, and each man has won three of them. How is it possible? The men are playing with different opponents, not with each other. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.